Hello, my fellow Devil's Rejects. This game is called The Hospital. On Bark, on a horrific journey of discovery, unearth a buried past. I'm so excited, there's so many good horror games lately. Let's fucking do this! I'll never get sick of horror games. This is my favorite. All the different ideas, you know, all the different stories, everything, everything. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Alright, alright. Alright. I'll shut the hell up. Let's go. New game. That was loud. I think that was loud for you guys, right? Let me turn that down. Okay. Adjust the brightness using the bar above until you can barely see the word crux. Crux. Barely done. That's nice. Okay, it's loud. Let me turn it down more. Okay. When the virus got me, I was hoping I'd be amongst the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium pandemonium out there so many sick so many dying I feel like I've become a number a statistic damn I think I'm growing sicker I feel faint and weak all the time yesterday at night they had to increase my oxygen intake I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition deteriorates further oh if okay what if I don't make it it would be a horrible way to go, dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or any of those fairy tales. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life, chasing shadows to think about death. Eee, that's scary. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can ba barely breathe. Ooh. Oh, sensitivity is perfect. I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Walk around using the- okay. Look with your mouse. Observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the- oh, I love it when this, the controls are at the start. The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. The more information at the start, the better. Thank you. There's visitors, except being quarantined, I had no visitors. The clock doesn't seem to be working. 9 p.m. Oh, did you die? My bed, it looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat, too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Yeah, TV, hospital, medical device. Bathroom doors is locked. Okay. Do the lights work? No. That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out how I'm up. I don't have a room number? Where is everyone? When I checked in here, the corridors were abuzz with activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. It's dead silent now, unnerving. Yeah, if you've ever stayed in a hospital, um, it's it's really loud, actually. And then at night, it gets a little bit more quiet, quiet. Uh, but then it, it's, yeah, anyways. Just saying. Usually, yeah, usually there'd be uh, room numbers. This looks pretty good so far, though. This looks like a hospital. The doors are kind of tall. But maybe it's because I'm in a parallel universe. 
Because I died and my spirit is trying to... Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs besides these doors. Cardiology. Ah, okay. Where I, why are the windows opaque? I can't see it through them. Okay, okay. So maybe that's why there's no signs. Okay, okay. Alright. Okay. Good luck. I'm hurt. I'm a, I play a lot of horror games, so it's going to be hard for me to get scared, okay? And I don't fake my scares. So... No room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I've seen room numbers when I checked in. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I'm liking all the details. Sealed, just like the others. Can't run, I can't crouch, and I can't jump. Just by the way, for my people that are watching. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two, were two harried, harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Hmm. Now they're all gone. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Hey, nurse! What's going on? Get me out! Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? This door is open. She must have left it open. Am I in the psych ward? Where the doors are all locked and there's almost no one around? Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. What? There's someone on the other side of this door! Yes! Hello! Can you hear me? This room just likes the other one I was in. But it's a mess. There's blood. I guess the bed wasn't cleared after the last patient departed. That figure. Oh, that sound came from out there. Still locked. Is it the angel of death? I want something on that TV. Figure silhouette against noise. It reminded me of. No, it can't be. It must. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream that I'm having while still lying in bed in some kind of coma. I don't remember which side I came from. That doesn't look like a nurse. Maybe it's a patient from the psych ward. Oh. The frick is going on? Who shut the door? A body in there. A corpse. This is a dream I'm growing increasingly disturbed. It's disturbing. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Hello! It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Someone that passed away a long time ago. Weird.
What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place, the furniture, and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table here. Oh! It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. A characteristic silence. This cannot be happening. This is some monstrous dream I must wake from. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are flooding back. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life? Had I done things differently? And at what cost? I'm sorry for what happened. Cold silence. What does she want? Naya. Did, did that really happen? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away in a coma on a hospital bed? There's a fire? Naya? I remember this picture we had taken it by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24 by... But by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to, to get help, she refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended her relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse, the phone calls, the stalking, the threats, and finally I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched like a chilling grin. When I saw what she was holding in her hand... Oh, this is interesting. What is this place? Nice. The door's in pretty good shape compared to everything else around. A dead body? Abandoned in this corridor. This tension is terrible. I should move on. Don't jump at me. Don't jump at me. Don't jump at me. Don't. Don't. No. Doesn't budge. Ah! Mm, I knew it. I knew it and it's still scaring me. Alright, you got me on that one. I think I rolled myself up. A bunch of corpses. Just gonna... Okay. 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 All right. There she is. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she cut could hurt herself. I leaped at her, grabbed the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later I got that terrible call. Okay. See, I knew it, psych ward patient. How did I know that? Yeah. Oh 
god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? You told me that... They told me that you've written on the note... You left your last words. Sorry. <laughs> what did you want from me, Naya? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Yeah, that kind of shit can really fuck someone up. What do you want? Leave me alone! I think of that note you left the last words you ever wrote. I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what is this about? That if you'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. Nah, there's nothing... There's nothing you can do for people like that. They're just bullying you into staying with them. That's not your fault. You should never be with anyone that threatens to kill themselves. If you leave them. Ever. I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Naya? Do I dare go out there? What will I found? A busting hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or a shadowy halls haunted by my past? I'm in a coma trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream. Born of guilt? Or am I dead? This is my afterlife. These dread halls and a tormented soul talking me. Sorry, stalking me for all of eternity. Oh, you don't know what happened. The end. That's interesting. Okay. So you don't know if he's in a coma? You don't know if he's in a coma or... In purgatory? That was actually pretty interesting. I liked it. I liked the story. I like, um... I like that it was raw and you weren't scared to show everything. That was really cool. Um... I don't really have any constructive criticism. I think it looked really good. Honestly. That was awesome. Thank you very much and stay safe out there, guys.